Hey, what's going on? Uh, today is Friday, uh, June the 5th. Uh, I got something that I've been uh, waiting for for quite some time. Uh, I kind of find one for a good price. And I found one. However, it was a six hour drive away. Luckily, I have a friend, uh, my boy Scott, uh, lives in the area. So I messaged him, sent him some money and grabbed it for me and I just didn't get to have it uh, sent to me recently because uh, money is a little tight with everything uh, with the uh, COVID so uh, when I got some money got them to sh ship it back to me uh, so let me just show you guys some pickups that I got actually uh, yesterday so I got this set right here it's sealed unfortunately uh, that one trooper right there uh, jumped out of his uh, his case. All right. This battle pack, and this is so awesome. I didn't expect to get it for the price that I did. And from the same seller, a sealed Power of the Force do-back. Right. You know, it's uh, been wanting a do-back for a long time now. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, definitely one of those things is it looks like a dinosaur and like you know like any any kid growing up uh, I love my dinosaurs so the main event is actually this bad boy right here so I know it's uh, I'm kind of late to the party in like two years so I got this for cheap because the seal was broken. However, it looks like uh, the guy may have just opened it up and ins inspected it to make sure everything was there. As when I opened this box, everything is still there. Zip ties. I'm sure you guys have seen this from other reviews already. So, what we're going to do is actually uh, open this bad boy up. Got my trusty hot knife right here. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, part of me really didn't want to open him because he looks so good in the package, right? And recently, I've, I've been finding myself to be appreciating the box art more. Uh, and I, I used to make fun of the uh, uh, mint and box collectors. Uh, so never in a million years did I ever think that I would be one of those collectors eventually because there's some items that I have that I really just don't don't even want to want to open it's because the box art is so nice and you know never say never because uh, things like that happen right so I'm just uh, unpacking everything here and we'll do a uh, quick review on this guy. Like I said, I, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the reviews on this already. Uh, but I'll give you guys my take on it. Oh, wow. That clamshell is in there good. Oh, no zip ties for the uh, for the trooper, for the sand trooper. Alrighty. So let's do this. So first and foremost, let me uh, uh, let me put the saddle on. Uh, how does this go? making sure I get the saddle on on the back. Oh, oh it's fighting me. What the heck? I, I think I have it on right. Uh, 
I also don't want to break this thing. So that's not right because that's not how it is in the photo. But, let's see. There we go. There we go. Just need to give it a little bit of elbow grease. This is the, uh, this, this thing's a beauty. Oh my God, look at him. He's so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to take photos of him because these guys look really good in outdoor shots and I've been wanting to do outdoor shots forever. I just never had a chance because I never really have time. Uh, so we'll go over the, uh, trooper here. So this sand trooper, standard black series fare, uh, you know, head articulation, extremely limited, right? You can barely go, yeah, you can go left or right, but that's it, you know, not much up and down. It goes up that much can look down eh, a little bit right not bad but you know the uh, the shape of the helmet even if he had more articulation would prevent uh, uh, further movement uh, no butterfly joint single hinge on the shoulder which is once again hindered by the shoulder pad Double hinged uh, elbow right there, but once again, articulation extremely limited. Right, same thing on the other side. Not much <laughs> forward. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, so not much, <laughs> not much forward. <laughs> No, nothing really going back. I, I don't even know how I'm going to sit this guy on. A, but his, his legs does spread spread open, uh, which I cer certainly hope it does, because uh, he has to sit on, sit on that big thing. Uh, double hinged knee. Right. It's pretty good. I think I, I like that, but like breaks the sculpt and uh, it looks looks like absolute crap. But it's Star Wars, and I have a weakness for Star Wars, <sighs> even with the the uh, bad choices they make with these guys. Uh, forward and back on the foot. You know, you get the uh, ankle tilt. And of course, standard black series, no toe, toe, no uh, toe articulation. Uh, I'm gonna, you guys are gonna hear me complain about that a lot. It's one my one big thing with uh, Star Wars uh, black series is that like, dude, give them, give them a, toe, give them articulation on the toe. How how are they gonna do like kneeling down poses when they're trying to shoot someone and without it not looking? you know, too robotic, right? You gotta make that thing look natural. So he comes with his pack. His, uh, what do you call this? His, uh, survival pack. Just like that. Pretty badass, but now he's all back heavy. So you gotta lean. Lean him forward, Michael Jackson style, like smooth criminal. Just to make him stand. Let's see how he holds his gun. Holds his gun pretty well. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I am mad at having this this part right here, 
for for the for the stand for the rifle that doesn't do anything i mean like it looks good but that's it you you, you can't you can't kneel down and don't get me wrong articulation he he won't be able to kneel down and try to shoot something looking natural anyway uh but it would have been nice i mean uh don't get me wrong like i i know that's what that's what the imports are for uh and he holds this staff uh, yeah you gotta squeeze it in there because his hands uh this part right here you can't you gotta there's no way it's gonna slip through the hand and I don't think this comes off either so I don't know oh my god I don't wanna I really don't wanna break this but I feel like I'm gonna break the hand And believe it or not, this is actually my first Black Series. No, it's, it's not my first Black Series. It's the first Black Series that I opened. <laughs> I, I have several Black Series figures, but they're all in the box. Uh, once again, that's due to lack of space, and uh, I'm becoming a hoarder. Oh, this thing's a pain in the butt. Anyway, I'm not going to do that right now. I'll save that for posing. I'm sure he can hold it fine. I just, I really don't want to test my limits and break the, uh, break the hand. So let's put that this back on. Now, let's go over this sexy beast. This is what we've all been waiting for. So. The tail does move side to side, not much up and down. Maybe there's more, I'm not going to test that because uh, I like to keep my toys mint and tight. Now, I'm surprised they had this much articulation on, on each leg, All right. so for the hind legs, you know, that thigh is freaking massive, so there's no way they're gonna add more articulation to that. Uh, it looks like this articulates pretty far, right? I don't know what that's, that's called. I call that the the chicken feet. Uh, then there's toe articulation on the front toes and the back toe is totally badass as a swivel and the foot articulates as well but not much uh, it's tight I don't want to mess with it because I like as I mentioned I like I like these guys stable uh, pretty much the same articulation on the front right I didn't even notice this until now but uh, the front paws look like hands the way they're uh, uh, and I haven't really paid attention to that in the films and if you look closely there's on the uh, sorry like my lighting is horrible I gotta fix the lighting on my next video um, the detail on the uh, the bags it's it's weathered um, and it looks like it's, uh, you know, they actually took their time to uh, make this a beautiful piece. And the head, the head sculpt, oh my god. Hold on, let me try to cover the light. But that's how beautiful he is. He's a pretty boy. And let's open his mouth. Oh, look at that teeth. Looks like he's been to the dentist. He's got that webbing on the side, like most reptiles. And the tongue articulates, actually. It articulates up and down. And the, the, the wash on the tongue. 
Oh, that's freaking beautiful. This is going to look so good on my shelf. So, okay. there we go. He, he looks really awesome. I'm going to try to put this on at some point and uh, have him. I, I, I have to make room on my shelf. I wonder if this plugs in anywhere, if the gun plugs in it anywhere. Well, let's take a look. Let's see here. Let's check the box. No, it does not, unfortunately. It doesn't look like it plugs in anywhere. Which is unfortunate, because... Uh, it would have been nice if everything uh, stowed away and you don't have... Uh, this is how you miss pieces, right? Uh, I have three three-quarter figures with missing everything because uh, everything's so tiny that or their stuff doesn't tuck away. Anyway, I don't want to make this video uh, any longer than it is. Uh, I'm going to put this guy on the shelf now. This, I'm glad I opened this guy. Uh, I knew he wasn't going to stay in the box for too long. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming to watch my video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, you guys stay safe out there. All right, ciao.